such a nice face. Hello, Peril. How are you? Arrival in uh, Veradero looks like this. Flew WestJet from Vancouver overnight to Toronto, four and a half hours. Then on Sunday morning, leaving at 10 o'clock, arriving in Veradero at 1.30. And here I am. When most tourists talk about going to Cuba, they're talking about an all-inclusive package to the resort area of Veradero. I only flew to Barradero because it was the cheapest price to fly to Cuba. But when I arrived here a month ago, I immediately took a taxi to Matanzas, which is about 50 kilometers away, and that cost me, ouch, 30 cooks. I stayed for two nights in Matanzas and then moved on to Havana and the rest of my Cuba trip. On the map of Cuba, where is Lobo? Where is Lobo? Well, on my first full day in Cuba, I find myself near Havana. There is Havana. But I'm not in Havana. As I said, I'm near Havana. Follow the coast to Mantanzas, right there. That's where my tour of Cuba starts. Surprisingly, Baradero, the resort area that I flew into, is not marked. But Baradero is right along that spit of land that you see there, just to the right of Matanzas. So that's where I flew into the airport yesterday, Matanzas. And of course my plan is to go to Havana. The area west of Havana is very scenic, but I'll save that to the end of my tour. The early part will be devoted to going all the way down east of Cuba down to Santiago. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, Cuba edition, vlog number 32. Join me next Friday from world famous Veradero Beach. From the airport in uh, Veradero, I'm taking a, a taxi to Matanzas, which is about uh, 50 kilometers away. And I'm going in this really nice car. It's a 1952 Chevrolet. 1952 Chevrolet. 1952 Chevrolet. Como la va, señor? Todo bien. Chevrolet 52. Chevrolet 52. Chevrolet 52. Oh my God, Dios mío. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Estupendo. Este estupendo. <laughs> y, uh, back to English. Here's the back of it. This is uh, typical Cuba here. Gets me excited right from the start. And uh, here's the inside. Lots of room. Lots of room. And there we go. All right. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Oh, yeah. Probably the best uh, Casa Particular to stay at in uh, Matanzas is the Hostel Azul. Located just uh, about a block away from the uh, Parque Libertad. So we're at the Hostel Azul and we're talking with... Eileen. Eileen. And you're the Hefa. The owner, yes. Is it Hefa? Hefa. Hefa, Hefa, Hefa. The boss. And she's saying you have live music here in the afternoon, right? Right here. So this is a little live hangout area with a bar. This is really nice compared to the my place. Here's the office. Yeah. And the rooms. We uh, are El Mayora in a ciudad. Ah, si, 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 si. So this is a typical room. Yeah, nice, nice. Quanto cuesta para noche? 25. 25. Para dos personas, 30. Okay, so $25 for a single person, 30 for, uh, for doubles, which is, uh, which is pretty darn good. Okay, Liberdad, uh, almost in the middle of uh, Matanza. And uh, here I find a statue to Jose Marti. Of course, Jose Marti is uh, the name here in uh, Cuba. Uh, 
And the year is uh, 1895 because uh, Jose Marti and Antonio Maceo arrive in Cuba to ignite the Second Independence War. The Second Independence War. So we're talking 1895. We're talking about independence from Spain. Marti didn't last long as he was killed at Dos Rios in May. But he was quickly, quickly elevated to uh, the Cuban martyr. That's why you find him in every city square, practically, as I am in the Parque Libertad, marked by the Teatro Velasco over there. Very famous theater. The best hotel in town right there, right beside it. Right there. Here is the uh, hotel and restaurant, Café Velasco. That's where people of means spend their nights. That's why I'm not there. So the Hotel Velasco. If uh, just about knocked down the statue, if Ernest Hemingway would have been here, I'm sure he was. We would have come to this bar here. Probably the fanciest bar in town. And probably the fanciest dining room in town. Of that. As I mentioned earlier, this is fine dining. Accompanied by Cuba is famous for music. The surroundings uh, after my meal got the better of me and I did something I normally do not do. And by the way, the band has left, the orchestra has left, but I'm still here. Something I normally do not do, and that is to order dessert. Now, this is two dollars and fifty cents. So one, two, three, four, five. Five balls of ice cream. I don't know what the quality is like, but nevertheless, two dollars and fifty cents. Lately, I've been looking in Victoria, British Columbia. One ball of uh, Italian ice cream is six dollars and fifty cents. I was noticing uh, in the hotel and around town what I consider to be quite a few. Uh, gay people and uh, I notice here at the hotel a sign that says uh, big day against the homophobia and transphobia Matanzas 16th to 17th of May national conference yo me incluyo en espacio laborales also on the Parque Liberdad, just behind me, is the famous Sala de Concierto, Sala de Concierto, Jose White, right next to the Hotel Velasco. So you got two jewels right next to each other, the Hotel Velasco and the Sala de Concierto, Jose White. They're nice. This is the entrance. I take it the Sala de Concierto is right behind these doors over here. Sala de Conciertos. Jose White. And uh, right here is... Well, I guess during intermission you can come and have a beer here. It's rather cool. Nice music. Like here I come upon the world famous Teatro Soto, Soto. Matanzas is known as a cultural center, or was known as a cultural center. It's trying to be established that particular reputation. Uh, it was uh, formerly known as the Athens of uh, Central America. Hard to imagine that, but that's what it was called. So, because of a lot of beautiful culture, and theater, and architecture like that over there. Now it's being served in this big container with uh, ice to keep it cool. That is 
really cool. Muy bien, señor. Where are you from? Uh, Canadian. Oh, wow. And look at the inside here. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. Oh, que sea un restaurante antiguo, antiguo. Con, con comida típica cubana. Ah, ve. Along the way, I find the uh, casa de la cultura municipal with uh, some of the Art Deco architecture that makes the city so interesting. The Banco Popular de Ahora, the savings bank. And I see lineups and um, the school. Rather, that's going to be the routine here in Cuba, trying to find a place to exchange your money and banks are the best place, maybe the only place. I was uh, fortunate to find an ATM at the uh, at the airport. At the end of my trip, I can now say that uh, exchanging money in Cuba is not a problem. There's easy access to ATMs. Be aware the charge might be up to 15 US dollars as it was in my case. The best way and the most economical way is to exchange cash at a bank where no fees are charged, but you do have to wait. The Cool. Rather uh, an imposing building. And right here to my right is a gentleman who repairs who repairs lighters, cigarette lighters, right here. Cigarette lighters. Can you believe it? Repair cigarette lighters. In our throwaway society, somebody repairs cigarette lighters. As a former high school teacher, I thought it would have been interesting to go to the school and ask if I could talk to an English class. Permission denied. Private enterprise like this, along with Casa Particulars and Paladars, the restaurants, were introduced by President Raul Castro in an economic reform package about seven years ago. They say that uh, Cuba is famous uh, for its lineups, and here's the first example I've seen of lineups at the Mercado Cafeteria, Segundo Mayo. And uh, so it's Mercado is just a market that people are lining up for. Cool Cubans who want to be in videos. How much do you have to say? Alberto, Lido, Alberto, Alberto, Fernando, Bagu, Baramundo, Togi, los más fachos aquí, el acá es Togi, el río aquí, los más bordeando. And that's the end of the interview. Vive aquí en Matanzas. I may never see one like this again. There it goes. One of the things that has surprised me so far about Cuba is the lack of uh, political slogans and pictures of uh, you know whom. But here he is, Fidel Castro, in this uh, impressive uh, productos lecteos, milk products business. And just to uh, continue walking along here, there of course is Raul, the present president of Cuba, his brother. Is a che, che Guevara, the uh, revolutionary spirit that lives on forever. Such, such are the symbols of the island of Cuba, the one and only Cuba. One of Cuba's perils, just a little peril, just a little peril. Look at him, such a nice face. Hello, Peril. How are you? Bye. Adios. Adios, amigo. And finally, goodbye from Lobo. Join me next week for the vlog from Baradero. Maybe my last from Cuba. Thank you for viewing. And if you liked it, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.